strength will rise as you wait upon the Lord our God. We have an everlasting God who reigns forever. Amen. He is God, Amen. not ourselves. He reigns forever. As you sing praise to God, regardless of the circumstances we are facing, the host of angels also are joining us, giving glory to the Almighty. They are unseen, yes, but in the spiritual realm, there are multitudes of hosts of angels of heavens, of creations, joining us, worshiping the Almighty. That is the truth. Whether we like it or not, we are called to worship the name of the Lord our God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. 
for he deserves all the glory and honor that come come forth that comes forth from from his creation because he delights in his creation especially us who has been created according to his likeness Oh, pray. 
over us your sovereignty over us oh God how you works how you work within us you have been faithful and you will always be all my life you have been faithful all my life you have been so, so good. Every breath, every breath that I am made, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life.
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. More than words that we could have been utter, Lord God. You are so good, 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 Father. You are so good. Hallelujah. And we will continue to declare your praises among the nations. Yes, all my life. Come on, sing it again. Oh. All my life you have been faithful. The Lord wants to hear your heart today. All my life you have been so
worship you and worship you alone forever. God said, remove your sandals. This is holy ground. Because that's the place God was going to transact with Moses. And I want to tell you this morning, this place is a place of transaction. When Jesus and the Holy Spirit will transact with you this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus will impart to you this morning's healing. He'll impart his power to you this morning. Hallelujah. As you worship him. Amen. The Holy Ghost will impart his power. He'll bring his deliverance. Hallelujah. The devil has to run out in shame. Hallelujah. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. Hallelujah. Claim your deliverance this morning. Claim your healing this morning in faith. Hallelujah. If you're sick this morning, tell him, Lord, your devil, you're a defeated flow. By his stripes, I am healed. Oh, Rabbanananamananamashandaranama. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything that's of the enemy, let it flee in Jesus' name. Let his anointing fill you. Let his love fill you this morning. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Father, we thank and praise you for this awesome time, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, that you're there in our midst. Amen. Just enjoy his presence. Enjoy his presence. Oh, Ramana Ramana Shandaraba. That's such an awesome presence of God. Oh, Ramana Ramana Shandaraba. Amen, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your sweet and awesome presence, Lord. Amen. You deserve the praise. You deserve the glory this morning, God. You're a holy God. Amen, Jesus. Just enjoy his presence. Amen, Jesus. Receive from the hand of God this morning. Receive from the throne room this morning. Hallelujah. Let his love, let his peace engulf you this morning. No need for any fear this morning. No need for any anxiety. He said he will carry you. He said he will carry you. Even to your old age, he said, I will carry you. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. We want to give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you for being with us this morning. Continue to speak to us. Continue to minister to us, God. We vow to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And God's people say, Amen. God's people say, Amen. God's people say, Amen. Amen. Give a big clap offering this morning unto Jesus. Worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, church. Welcome to the first Sunday service of 2022. New year, new year, new me, new year, new weekends. So as you know, the UAE uh, has changed their weekends to Saturday, Sunday. So services will no longer be on Friday. Uh, you know, if you're joining us from around the world, services will no longer be on Friday mornings. Services will be on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. So from this Sunday, continue joining us every Sunday at 10 a.m. Um, for the next, for this week and next week, you're going to uh, uh, come and see uh, a pre-recorded service. But from the 25th onwards, it'll all be live stream as usual. Um, you know, we just praying for God's hand to move so mightily this year. We thank God for His powerful word that He has spoken on the 31st of December 2021 as we cross into the new year. God has given us a new rhema and as powerful and as true and as the rhema for last year work, we know and we trust and God has built our faith that the rhema for this year is going to move in and work in our lives in such a powerful way. I just want to remind you, it's taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, the prayer of Jabez and Pastor Satish has got a powerful sermon lined up today. He's going to unpack this verse and teach us more about how it's going to impact our life this year. But I think you know, just taking that that from that from that line, uh, uh, the most important thing is that Jabez called on the God of Israel. If there's only one thing that we can do this year in our lives, let us just call on the God of Israel, and God of Israel is going to do everything else in His power for our benefit and for our good pleasure. Amen. So unfortunately, in line with the slightly increased cases in Dubai, you know, church, we will not be convening just for this Sunday and next Sunday, but on the 23rd of January onwards, we look forward to join for you joining us in our new church premises, which will be much further along in its construction and perhaps almost completed by then. And we just thank God for what He is doing. I encourage you to continue sowing into the work that God is doing. And if you have a very special uh, 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 date coming this week, whether it's your birthday, your anniversary, or something special is happening in your life, as a church, we want to wish you, we are praying for you, and trusting that God has a very special gift for you. So happy birthday, happy anniversary, whoever you are, just know that God is for you. Be blessed. We will not be having any, um, apart from Kingdom Kids, which has already resumed, the, the, the timing schedule will be in the Kingdom Kids chat, so the parents are aware. Uh, we will not be having any other weekly services until the week of the 17th. So week of the 17th, uh, we resume our week of the 17th, right? So on the 18th, that's the Tuesday, we resume our Bible study. And on the 20th, we will resume our hour of power that for this year onwards, because of the change in the weekend, will take place on Tuesdays and Thursdays respect, uh, respectively. So church, anyway, continue enjoying the rest of the service. Tune in, concentrate, lock into what God is doing, have faith and be blessed. Amen. Wherever you're watching this morning, Greetings in the sweet name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, if you can stand up wherever you are this morning, let's let's get into the presence of God before we listen to the Word of God, because His Word is power. And if you if we can tune in to the anointing, if you can tune in the presence of God, it becomes so easy to receive from God this morning. Stand up wherever you are this morning as we get into time of worship and worship the Lord. I sing praises to your name Oh Lord Praises to your name Oh Lord For your name is great And greatly to be praised I sing praise 
praise this to your name. Oh Lord, just worship it, praise this to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give glory, let's give him glory this morning. I give glory to your name, oh Lord, glory to your name, oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly, amen, Jesus, oh your name is greatly to be praised, oh Lord. Praise God this morning and tell him, Lord, your name is great and worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We've come to 2022 and his name is great and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Lord, we want to sing your praise this morning, Lord. We want to bring glory to this morning, Lord, for all that you've done for us in 2021, for what you're about to do in 2022, God. We want to give you the glory this morning. We want to give you glory, Jesus. Oh, I give glory to your name. We give you glory, Lord. Oh, we give you glory, Jesus. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Jesus, oh, we give you glory. Just give him glory. Whenever you're sitting this morning and watching, just give him glory. Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. And Father, we thank and praise you, God. Father, even as we get ready to listen to your word this morning, Lord. I pray that your word will come forth with power this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, it's not by might, it's not by my words, Lord. I pray this morning from heaven's throne room, you'll open the windows of heaven, Jesus. And Lord, that you would speak, Lord, to your still small voice this morning, Lord. And everybody under my voice, under this anointing this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. will receive your their rhema this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you're a faithful God. We want to thank and praise you. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's people say, and God's people say, Amen and Amen. Thank you, Preeti and Pastor Helen, for joining me in this time of worship. Hallelujah. You know, everywhere around the world, there's lockdowns. Countries, cities, states, locked down with different rules. Night curfew, day curfew. People are protesting all over for lockdowns. Some don't want to take vaccines. Some don't want to follow the rules. They believe they're above everything else. But we want to thank God for doctors, for nurses, for putting full time. Even in our own church, we have some doctors and they're telling me, Pastor, it's getting crowded. People are coming, people are coming. But you know what the best thing is? This is not lethal like what COVID was. But that doesn't give us any excuse to, to be slack. Please wear your masks. Please be distant. Don't get into crowded places. Don't get into malls or anything. Just be careful for some time because this storm will also pass away. This storm of Omicron will also pass away. You know what happens when you worry? Worry causes diseases. 
being careful will take you to your end destination but being worried and being anxious is only going to make you sick in the mind sick in the body but being careful will take you to your destination and i would encourage you wherever you're watching this morning be careful don't break your head don't break your head we have enough trials coming your way we have enough challenges coming your way every day is a challenge every day is a challenge in the office it's a challenge in the schools it's a challenge for people who are working different workplaces every day there are new challenging situations but I want to thank God amen but you know what challenges are never going to stop for you and I but you know what is different the way you respond to challenges the way you respond to the troubles that come your way the way you respond to storms is what will will break or make you listen to me very carefully this morning the way you respond to the storms in your life the way you respond to the challenges the way you respond to the the waves that come across your life your response is going to be the most important in terms of breaking or making you or building you up you know the bible says in 1 peter 5:8 it says be sober minded be vigilant because your adversary the devil is going about like a roaring lion seeing whom he may devour he's just going around any weak minded he's looking at anybody who's worried anybody who's afraid anybody who's feared he'll go and catch you guys he's just waiting for somebody who's fearful and afraid because that's what the bible says he won't get to the strong people little afraid oh i'm scared of this i'm scared of this he'll get you down because you're his perfect prey for that day so my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters don't fall victim to the devil roaring around like a roaring lion amen be well balanced keep a cool, bible says keep a cool head 1 peter 5:8 it says the message version says keep a cool head stay alert and watch out be careful take all the precautions you know what the more mind space you give the enemy the more he's going to come and sit and build his home on your head you know the bible says in, in, in isaiah in isaiah 26:3 it says thou would keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee when your mind is stayed on the word when your mind is stayed on jesus christ the rock i'm telling you you will be at peace the more you keep listening to the news the more the people keep talking about omicron and virus and and all these things i mean it's going to put you in fear start reading the word of god declare the promise that god gave you in 1 chronicles 4:10 jabez prayed the beautiful prayer oh lord that thou wouldst bless me indeed that thou wouldst enlarge me lord that your hand be with me and lord that you would keep me from evil and the bible says God answered Jabez's prayer 2022 God is enlarging you God is blessing you God's hand is upon you and Lord and tell him Lord keep me away from evil God when you have such a wonderful rhema you don't have to sit there worried I don't know what's going to happen I don't know what's going to happen in 2022 I'll tell you what's going to happen God is going to bless you I don't know I I feel little and nothing has happened in 2021 I want to tell you this good news in 2020 to God says I will enlarge you. He says my hand will be upon you. Hallelujah. What are you worried? His promise still stands. Great is his faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Keep your mind stayed on the promise of God. Keep your mind stayed on 1 Chronicles 4:10. right through every day morning said night when you go said when you go in your car said said today god you're going to enlarge me god today god you're going to do it for me god hallelujah for those of you who who didn't tune in on the 31st of january god gave us his rhema in 1 chronicles 4:10 that's the promise for the year 2022 1 chronicles 4:10 2022 That's the promise for 2022. Jabez prayed this prayer. He says, "Lord, you will bless me. Lord, you will enlarge me. Lord, that your hand will be with me, Lord. And Lord, keep me from evil." The Bible says, "God answered, granted his request." And I pray this morning as you're watching me, God will grant your request as you make this bold prayer this morning. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your mind on him. If you read Matthew chapter 14 verse 22 and 23, verse 33 onward 22 onwards 
it says when Jesus went walking on the water you know Peter yes Peter Peter was afraid everybody was afraid Peter and all the 11 disciples along with Peter saw the greatest of miracles but this one guy Peter when God told him he desired be not afraid Peter with all the boldness said if it's you Lord let me walk on the water Peter had his eyes on Jesus his mind was fixed everybody saw the person walking the water everybody saw Jesus in the water Jesus spoke to all the 12 disciples and said it's I but only one guy had the guts to look straight on his face he took him head on he took Jesus by the, he took the bull by the horns and said God if it's you let me come in the water and you know what Peter did walk Peter did walk he took Jesus head on he took the bull by his horns raging sea waves all around but you know what he didn't he didn't get afraid he said if it's you God tell me to come on the water and I will walk and he began to walk this morning I've titled my message take the bull by its horns you must be wondering what this is all about take the bull by its horns and I believe took Peter took Jesus he took him right right on right at his word he walked on the word he walked right on the word of God and he walked on the water he took the bull by the horns when Jesus had come he never hesitated he walked all the other disciples stood probably in fear but this guy took the bull by his horns and said God I'm coming and he began to walk and this morning I want to tell you in 2022 take the bull by its horns take the devil by its horns and tell him man I'm going to walk on the word. I'm going to walk over you. I'm going to stamp over you. I'm going to get back what I lost in 2021. Because you know why? God said, I will be with you. When he looked at Peter and said, Peter, come. God is saying, Peter, come, man. I'm there. Come, look at me and come. Look at me and come. Look at my word. Walk on my word. And this, mor and this morning of 2022, January 9th, I want to tell you, walk on the promise of God walk on 1 Chronicles 4.10 every day. Walk on the promise of God and you will walk on water. You will overcome anything if you walked on the word that God is speaking to you. And 2022 God is telling you, walk on my word that I gave you. 1 Chronicles 4.10 when I said I will bless you, I will bless you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Fear will sink you faith will unleash the supernatural listen to me very carefully faith will unleash the supernatural fear will sink you Peter had the faith and he began to walk supernaturally the minute he saw the waves around the Bible says he was afraid he began to sink and that's what happened in your daily life when you keep reading the news when you get anxious when you start getting afraid the devil knows how to get your mind he will sink you but if you have the faith and walk on the word of God, walk on the rainbow that God gave you in 1 Chronicles 4.10, I want to tell you, you will see the enlargement. You will see the hand of God and you will see how God blesses you. Determine today how you will respond to challenges. 2022 will have more challenges. Right in the beginning of 2022, you see the world struggling. Omni, uh, Omicron virus. But you know what? But when you stand on the rainbow that God give you nothing will move you nothing will move you look at the life of Jabez if you read Jabez uh, if you read 1 Chronicles 4 9 and 10 the Bible says Jabez's mother bore him in sorrow in pain she bore him in pain it would have never been, it would never been recorded in the word of God but for the real pain that she went through and that's why she called the name of her son when he was born Jabez which means pain his name represented pain like I said on 31st in the Old Testament names are very significant in the Old Testament Peter means rock Abraham means Jacob means deceiver so the names had a significance and so every time probably Jabez walked on the road people would call him pain look at this pain coming I gave you some crazy examples on the 31st on different names on this guy called side bottom on the English cricket team and a host of other names I gave you just imagine Jabez growing through life
being called a pain. His classmates, people in his village, his relatives, everybody would call him with that nickname, you're a pain. Everything was against him. It was probably so frustrating. I, I'm sure he went and asked his mother, Mommy, why did you name me pain? These people are troubling me. They're bullying me in the village. Why did you call me pain? Probably mommy had no answer. She must have told him, Son, do you know the pain I bore, you, bore when, I, when, I, when you gave birth to you? Your daddy was not there. Your daddy didn't name you, Jabez. I named you. Probably his daddy was not there. History, done, history doesn't tell us what happened. Probably his daddy died. Probably his daddy probably was separated from his mother. And she bore him all alone in pain. The pain was so much that she named him Jabez, which is called pain. Look at the odds against Jabez. His name was pain. His mother named him. Probably his father was not there with him. He grew up being ridiculed as his name had so much of significance. He was always at the receiving end. He was disadvantaged through life. Jabez didn't have one problem. You and I have probably three problems, four problems. But you know what? For Jabez, life itself was a problem. Can you believe it? Jabez, it was not one or two problems today. I don't have food today. I don't have finance for this month. I don't know how I'll pay rent for this month. I don't know how I'll pay fees for my children. Probably two, three problems. But for Jabez, life itself was a problem. His name was a problem. His life was a problem. He was so frustrated in life. But against all those odds, Jabez, you know what he did? He took the bull by its horns. He didn't stay there defeated. He didn't stay there thinking, man, I'm going to die as a pain. No, he could have thought like that. He could have said, maybe I want to commit suicide. I cannot come up in life. His life itself was a problem, not just his name. Everything about him was a problem. But you know what? When, when life problems comes against you like a flood, you know what Jabez did? He took the bull by its horns. He made the boldest prayer in history. He made something probably which nobody had prayed. He prayed the, pray, the, the, most, the, most, the most decisive prayer. Probably you're telling me today, Pastor Satish, my situation is difficult, you don't understand. January 1st to 9th, you know what? My family has Omicron. We, I, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent next month. I want to tell you this morning, walk on the word of God. Walk on 1 Chronicles 4.10. I'm telling you, Jabez, everything was against Jabez. His life itself was a problem. And in spite of that, Jabez chose not to sit there. He made, took a very bold step. He took the bull by its horns. The way Peter took the bull by its horns, everybody was afraid. 11 disciples, everybody was afraid. Only Peter said, God, if it's you, tell me, Jesus, I want to walk on the water. Jesus said, come. Peter walked on the word of God. He kept walking until he looked around and fear made him sink. And I want to tell you this morning, fear will sink you. Faith will unleash the supernatural to work in your life. You decide. Challenges will come in 2022, but your response to challenges is what God is looking at. Your response to challenges is what the devil is worried about. He's worried, hey, will this guy unleash faith or can I sink him in fear? You know what happened to David and Goliath in 1 Samuel 17, the greatest battle that was fought there. The entire Israel army was afraid of this guy called Goliath who kept coming every day and taunting the armies of Israel, including King Saul. The mighty King Saul was afraid to go and fight with his army. But this young boy, young shepherd boy, took Goliath head on. Head on means how? He didn't go to him with, he didn't go to him with spear. He didn't go to him with a gun, nothing. You know what he told Goliath? He said, Goliath, by today, the birds of the air will feast on you. They'll eat your flesh. By today evening, the birds of the air will eat your flesh, Goliath. I want you to know, he took Goliath head on. He took him, he took the bull by its horns. 
but everybody was afraid david chose not to be afraid the bible says everybody in israel camp fear struck them and they began to sing they were afraid they were dejected but this guy took golad by the horns and he said golad i'm coming to you in the name of the lord god of heaven's armies he knew who was with him he knew who was with him david walked on the word he walked on faith he walked on the word this morning i want to tell you when you walk on your rhema when you live your rhema when you confess your rhema when you declare your rhema every day you will begin to walk and see the miracle you watching me out there this morning probably you have tears and saying i don't know what's what's going to happen to me pastor next month i don't know where my money is going to come from i don't know i don't i don't have a job still but i want to tell you this morning walk on 1 chronicles 4:10 the rhema that god gave you and i for the year 2022 when you begin to walk on the word when you begin to walk on his promise i want to tell you that promise you will possess hallelujah you will possess that promise you will possess that promise hallelujah that would keep him perfect peace his mind is stayed on thee you know what you know what's the best thing about uh, jebus when everything was against him the three things he knew he knew where to go he knew whom to go he knew how to go let's do it carefully he knew where to go he knew whom to go he knew how to go where to go where did he go he went to the god of israel the bible says in jebus 1:10 and jebus prayed unto the god of israel when everything was against him when nothing was working when life itself was a problem for jebus he went he knew where to go he went to the god of israel hallelujah hallelujah he went into the where to go number one he went to the presence of god whom did he go to he went to god almighty the god of israel hallelujah this morning do you know where to go when life itself was a problem jebus knew where to go he went to the presence of god the bible says in in jebus 4:9 it says jebus was honorable among all his brothers jebus had many more brothers the bible says only one thing about him he was more honorable than all his brothers though his name was sorrow though his name was pain he was probably much better than all his brothers probably he had a decent spiritual life and that's why when everything was against him he was able to take the bull by its horns and go straight to the god to the presence of god hallelujah your response challenges will come your life 2022 is going to present you with these challenges but you know what do you know where to go do you know where to go do you know whom to go to jabus went to the presence of god and he knew whom to go to he went to the god of israel and he cried and he made a he made the boldest prayer he made the boldest prayer he approached the throne room of god boldly the bible says in hebrews come the bible says approach the throne room of god boldly you don't have to be afraid to make bold prayers you don't have to be afraid to say what you want to god your father and this morning I want to tell you you're watching me under this anointing don't be afraid to go to the presence of god and make the boldest of prayers hallelujah jabez made the boldest of prayers jabez couldn't hold it any longer he couldn't wait any longer he couldn't tolerate any longer he couldn't live life any longer like this because life itself is a problem and he needed to needed to do something to change that destiny he made a destiny changing prayer this morning I want to tell you you can make a destiny changing prayer and your destiny can change overnight january 9th can be a turning point in your life a destiny changing prayer when you take the bull by its horns when you take the enemy by its horns i want to tell you you can make a destiny changing prayer you know who will sink the enemy will sink in fear when you make that bold prayer all this while the enemy is coming after you he got you afraid and you sank but this morning when you unleash faith the supernatural will overtake you the supernatural overtake you and the enemy will sink the first point jabes prayed jabes prayed god that thou 
will bless me indeed. He made such a bold statement. You know, like I said, indeed means it's a confirmation that's going to happen. It's almost like it's taken for granted. It's happening. Jabez said, God, you will bless me indeed. And this morning, I want you to make that bold prayer and look at yourself and tell yourself, God, you will bless me indeed, God, in 2022. I'm not going to take this any longer. I'm not going to sit down and wait for the enemy to sink me down, but I'm going to sink him. I'm going to take the enemy by its horns and I'm going to sink him in fear. Hallelujah. He took the bold step. Would you take the bold step this morning? Number two, Jabez said, Lord, enlarge my coast. Jabez knew his name was a limitation. Jabez knew his schooling probably was a limitation. People ridiculed him. People probably mocked him. He, he couldn't move forward. And he said, God, this is limiting me, God. I'm not able to move forward in my life. My future's all stuck, God. And he took the bull by its horns and he looked at God and he said, God, you that thou wouldst enlarge my coast, thou will take away my limitations of my life. For Jabez, life itself was a problem. Life itself was a problem. And he looked at God and he said, God, enlarge my coast, God. I want to tell you, God is waiting to enlarge your coast. He's waiting to enlarge your influence. Hallelujah. But you know what? You've got to open your mouth there. You've got to cooperate with God. You've got to take the bold step of faith and take the bull by its horns. You've got to look at the problem and say, hey, problem, I want to let you know in 2022, God is going to enlarge my coast. He's going to enlarge the borders of my influence. I'm not going to be sitting here, man. I'm going to rise up, you enemy, and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to march forward. I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to sink you, you enemy. I want you to know, I'm going to sink you. Every word that I speak out of my mouth is going to sink you. When Jesus was tempted, he said, man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. And I want to tell you this morning, every word that you speak from 1 Chronicles 4.10 over your life, when you speak, you're walking in the word. You're walking over the promise and that will come to pass. Hallelujah. David said, enlarge, enlarge. He took away the limitations. Enlarge. He wanted to fly. The Bible says in Isaiah 40.31, they the wait on the Lord. Jabez knew where to go to the presence of God. He knew if he went to the presence of God, all the limitations will go away. The Bible says, you will run and not be weary. You will walk, you will not flint. You will rise up on wings of eagles. You will rise up when you wait in the presence of God. Jabez knew that. He knew where to go. He went to the presence of God. He knew whom to go to. He went to God Almighty. He knew how to go. He knew how to go. He made such a bold prayer. And this morning, I want to teach you how to go. Make that bold prayer. Get in the presence of God. The Bible says, they that wait on the Lord, your strength will be renewed. You will rise up on wings like eagle. This morning, I want to tell you, with all your limitations, God is willing to enlarge you and make you rise up. Hallelujah. You will run and not be weary. You will walk. You will not faint. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You can rise up. You can rise up, hallelujah, on wings. You can fly on wings like eagles if only you walked on the word and walked on his promise, hallelujah. Thirdly, he said, God, let your hand be with me, God. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. You know, when my daddy is with me, I still tell you that example of the swimming pool. I remember in Chennai when I was a small boy, my daddy was in the swimming pool. I didn't know how to swim. He just said, jump like a little boy running to daddy's arms. I just jumped into the deep because daddy was standing there. I didn't have to worry because you know what? My daddy's hands were there to hold me in that water. Probably you're going to sail through the next 12 months not knowing what happens in February. But you know what I know? I know who's standing there and holding me. I know who's holding me back. I know whose hands I'm going to fall into. He said, God, that your hand will be with me. My daddy's hands were there ready to hold me when I jumped into those deep waters. And this morning I want to tell you, it doesn't matter how deep the waters you are. Jabez didn't bother. He said, God, that your hand will be with me. And when daddy's hand is there, you can jump into 40 feet water. You can jump into 100 feet water without knowing how to swim. You know why? Because 
His hands will carry you. 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 In 2022, I want to tell you like Jabez prayed, Lord, your hand will be with me. When God's hand is with you, you don't have to fear anything, right? You can attempt things that you can never attempt in 2021. Things you couldn't do in 2021, try and do it in 2022. Because you know what? I know who's with me. I know my dad is with me, man. Dude, I know who's coming with me. I know whose hand is me. You know what? I got Vasta. I got Vasta. I got Vasta. Jesus is my Vasta. The Holy Spirit is my Vasta. When I go for an interview, the Holy Spirit is my Vasta. He'll tell me what to speak. When I go and attempt great things, Jesus is my Vasta because he said, my hand will be with you. Today I want to tell you, you got Vasta. Jabez had the Vasta. He knew that your hand will be with me, God. I can attempt anything, God. Things I thought I couldn't do in 2021, I'm going to try doing in 2022 because I got Vasta. Places I couldn't go, I'm going to try and go because you know what? I got Vasta. I know whose hand is with me. Hallelujah. Psalm 18:29 says, With your help, Lord, I can advance against a troop. With God, I can scale a wall. Wow, I love this. With your help, God, with your hand, Lord, I can advance against a troop. Troop means not what troop means an army, a big group of people, and you're going alone. And he says, David says, Lord, just you and me, God, I can advance against a troop. And you know what? I can scale a wall with God with my help. But I want to tell you, in 2022, you can scale great heights because the hand of the Lord is with you. You can scale great heights. It doesn't matter who's coming against you. David said, I can advance against the troop no matter who's coming against you. Beautiful. God says, I will make a table before your enemies, man. Your cup will run over with joy. I will prepare a table before your enemies right before the people who ridiculed you. God made a table for Jabez. People mocked him. I'm sure one day when they saw him, God's word, hand was upon him and he was pros prospering. Jabez must have thought, hey, buddy, how much you ridiculed me, how much you must have been ragging me, what all names you called, but look today, the hand of God with me, he has enlarged me, he has blessed me. And that's what God says, in the presence of the people who mocked you in 2022, he'll set a table before your enemies and your cup will run over with joy. Hallelujah. I can do the impossible. 2022, you can do the impossible. You can do the impossible. Take the bull by its horns. Don't be afraid. Fear will sink you. Faith will unleash the supernatural. Walk on the word. Walk on your rhema. Walk on 1 Chronicles 4.10. And I want to tell you, when you walk on the promise of God, when you walk on the rhema, it will begin to work. The supernatural will be unleashed in your life. Things you couldn't imagine. I witnessed a miracle the last three days. The things I could have never imagined happened over the last three days. It's very personal. I won't be able to tell you. But I can tell you the most impossible things I could have ever imagined. I was just crying and crying in God and saying, God, how can this happen, God? And God reminded me, when you walk on 1 Chronicles 4, 10, Satish, I will unleash the supernatural. Hallelujah. He did the impossible. He brought divine connections from nowhere. People I didn't know. And he delivered. He delivered us out of a situation. Out of nowhere, he brought somebody like an angel. Things that could have never happened, happened. Hallelujah. God did it. And that's what God says. David says, with your help, God, I can advance against a troop. It doesn't matter who's against you. But you know what? You need to know who's for you. You need to know whose hand you have. Jabez knew, Lord, that your hand be with me. Hallelujah. You can't do it with your own strength. Declare now. Wherever you're sitting, declare now and say, God, thank you that your hand is with me, God. In 2022, God, I'm going to do things that I could never do in 2021, God. I'm going to do it, God. I'm going to do it, God. And then, lastly, he said, keep me from evil that I'm not grieve you, God. Jabez knew with his own strength, he couldn't do it. 
you know what when blessings start coming to you when god begins to enlarge your course when god's hand is upon you and he starts seeing success when he starts seeing miracles sometimes it gets into your head jabez knew what will happen jabez said god keep me from evil god like joseph joseph ran away temptations will come in 2022 challenges will come in 2022 all kinds of lust will come in 2022 all kinds of temptations will come you know what say god keep me lord help me to run away give me your grace to run away god because you know what if i fall god i will grieve you again lord again my name will become jabus i'll become a lousy guy again and that's why he said god you keep me from evil hallelujah sin will stare at your face in 2022 i want to tell you lust will stare at your face pride will stare at your face but you know what pray the prayer of jabus god keep me from sin god keep me from this pride god keep me from this ego god keep me from anger god when you start blessing me god let me god let me not let my head get swollen god let me not let my head get swollen when things begin to happen well in my life because you know when that comes lord i will grieve you by sinning god keep me away god keep me away god keep me through lord jesus keep me through there's a race that i must run there are victories to be won give me power to be true god give me power lord to be true would you tell that this morning god give me power to be true god keep me from evil god hallelujah when he start blessing me with a promotion when he start blessing me with a car when he start blessing me with a house when he start blessing me with a good job when he start blessing me with children when he start blessing me with many things in the house god when he start blessing me in my spiritual life and the gifts start operating god let me not get pride and grieve you again and i become a jabus again a pain no god i don't want to grieve you lord jabus 1.0 he was a nobody he was a pain his name was called pain his name was called pain everything was against him he he didn't even have his father to name him his only mother named him he was so limited in his life is very disadvantaged guy you and i have two three problems with jabus life itself was a problem but you know what he knew where to go he went to the presence of god he knew to whom to go he cried on the god of israel he knew how to go he took the bull by its horns he took the devil by his horns and he said you devil i want you to know god's hand is upon me in 2022 look at the devil and tell him you devil i want you to let you know god is going to enlarge my territory he's going to enlarge my influence hallelujah he's going to add to my life devil i want you to know god is going to bless me and you know what lastly devil i want you to know that my jesus is going to keep me from sin he's going to keep me from evil hallelujah oh rama shak baba glory lord Glory Jesus. I'm coming to my last point. Hallelujah. From being a pain from being everything by, by having everything limited in his life. Jabus 2.0. Jabus 1.0 was bad. He was a pain. Everything was against him. And after he made that bold prayer, Jabus 2.0 was born. Jabus said, "I'm moving up." Hallelujah. I'm leaving my past behind. I'm moving forward. I'm taking away my limitations, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I'm taking this bold step of faith, God Jesus. I'm stepping on in boldness. Amen. Hallelujah. My future is blessed. Jabus 2.0 was different. I just stepped into 2022. Hallelujah. You're telling me, Pastor. 2021, God. I probably didn't know Jesus much, but I want to tell you your life god is giving you one more chance to make the bold prayer like jabus take the bull by its horns you don't have to worry fear will sink you the devil is waiting to catch you anybody with fear he'll sink you there but he sees faith supernatural will unleash where faith is supernatural begins to get unleashed and when you walk on your promise when you walk on 1 chronicles 4:10 I want to tell you the supernatural will be unleashed. You know what? Jabez couldn't do anything by himself, but the supernatural, he invoked the supernatural. 
He invoked the supernatural by his prayer. He made the boldest prayer. The Bible says, God granted his request. And this morning, I want to tell you, when he made that bold prayer, Amen. Your second innings in life will come to life. No more limitations. No more limitations. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No more fear. No more anxiety. I'm not going to listen to this news and be bothered. Because you know what? I know whose hand is with me. I can attempt great things this year. There's no limitation. I'm going to walk in faith and try what I couldn't do in 2021. Because I know the hand of the Lord is with me. Hallelujah. Jabez 2.0 was born. He was moving forward. He said, I'm not going to stay where I am. I'm moving forward, guys. I'm going to take this step of faith. And I guess when people saw him in his village, man, wow, Jabez was blessed. They saw God's hand was with him. They saw Jabez's territory being enlarged, the borders of his kingdom being enlarged. Jabez was one happy man. And God kept him away from sin. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to encourage you as you enter into 2022. Hallelujah. Everybody saw Jabez differently. But Jabez 2.0, everybody saw him. They saw a different Jabez. God wants to make you something different. He wants to make something beautiful out of you in 2022. Jabez knew where to go into the presence of God. He knew whom to go to. He went to the God of Israel. He knew how to go, how to go. He made the boldest prayer walking into the presence of God. And he said, God, thank you, God, that you would bless me indeed. Lord, that thou would enlarge me, God. Lord, that your hand will be upon me, God. And Lord, that you would keep me from evil. And the Bible says, God answered Jabez. And God is answering you today, this morning, January 9th, 2022. You, are, you can take the bull by its horns and look at the devil and say, Hey, no more fear, man. I'm going to walk in faith. I'm going to walk on the word. I'm going to walk on my rhema. I'm going to walk on my rhema. I'm going to declare my rhema. I'm going to possess it. And I'm going to see victory after victory. Hallelujah. Aren't you excited this morning? Aren't you excited this morning? The God of Israel is with you. The God of Israel is on your side. Amen. You're moving up. No more pain. Hallelujah. Sin will stare at your face in 2022. It's how you respond to your challenges. It's how you respond to your problems that's most important. Are you going to respond in fear? Are you going to respond in, 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 in worry, in anxiety? Because that will make you sick. I'm telling you. Anxiety will make you sick. Worry will make you sick. But when you unleash a little faith, the supernatural will begin to be unleashed. Step out like Jabez in, fa in, in faith. Jabez made the boldest prayer. He looked at the God of Israel and said, God, you will bless me indeed. He didn't say, God, please, will you bless me? No, you will bless me indeed, God. It's an, it was an affirmative statement that thou would enlarge my course, that your hand will be upon me and thou would keep me from evil. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you this morning. Don't give the enemy space. Don't give him even one, don't even read one line of the newspaper that talks crap. Take this, take this book called the Bible. Go to 1 Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. The Bible says, Jabez was honorable among all his brothers. His mother named him Jabez, which means pain. And it says, and Jabez called unto the God of Israel. And he made these four prayers. The Bible says, God granted his request. And this morning, I want to tell you, God will grant your request. Those of you sitting out there this morning, I want to tell you, go into his presence. Because you know what? When you go into the presence of God and you sit in his presence, the Bible says, you will receive strength to speak words of faith. And the Bible says, you will rise up on wings like eagle. You can run. You can attempt great things. You will not be tired. You will not be a failure. 2022, you will be a success because God's hand is with you. When daddy's hand is with you, I don't care, man. I know who's coming with me. I know who's going with me. I can do anything because daddy's with me. And it'll all be a success. 
Would you close eyes and pray this morning? Would you pray with me this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Worship you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you're sitting this under this anointing this morning, God gave me this rhema for all of us. 1 Chronicles 4.10 is the promise God gave. And I want to stand you, and standing here, I want to tell you, on the word of God, in his presence as a servant of the most high God, I can tell you this word from 1 Chronicles 4.10 will work in your life. You will come back here and share testimonies of what the good God has done, of how his hand was upon you. I've already seen it this few days. His hand working the life of many people. Probably you think Omicron, Omicron will go away. I'm telling you, this will just fly away in a few days. It's just a passing phase. There's more to life. Life itself was a problem for Jabez. But you know what? He made the boldest prayer in history and he got what he wanted. He prayed the boldest prayer. He went to God's presence and he said, God, that you bless me indeed, God. That you enlarge me. That you handle me upon me, God. And Lord, that you keep me from evil. And God granted his request. And Father, thank you for this lovely morning, Lord. I want to thank you for your sweet and awesome presence. Everybody who's sitting under the anointing this morning, Lord. Everybody sitting under this promise. Everybody listening to me out there. I don't care when you listen to it. Probably you're listening to me after two months. But I want to tell you, his word will work in your life. Probably just switch it on now. Probably it's February when you're looking at me now and watching this, watching this sermon. I want to tell you, his word works. When you walk on his rhema, when you walk on his word, the supernatural will be unleashed in your life. Hallelujah. And God will make his head and not the tail. He'll make you a blessing. And like David said, Thou would prepare a table in the presence of my enemies and my cup will run over with joy. In the presence of people who ridiculed you, in the presence of people who mocked you, in the presence of people who said all kinds of nonsense against Jabez, the same Jabez probably walked with his head up high and said, hey guys, I want you to know, the hand of God was with me, man. And that's why there's so much to me. The hand of God was with me. My God blessed me. You know what? He enlarged me. Would you make the prayer this morning? Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray, God, that each one will make the prayer this morning, God. And they will experience the supernatural, God. Sickness will go. Limitations will grow. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every limitation in your life will disappear, God. And God's supernatural intervention will lift you up. Take the bull by its horns. Take the devil by its horns. And look at him on his face and tell him, you know what? My God is going to bless me in 2022. You know what? He's going to set a table before him and my enemies in 2022. He's going to enlarge my coast. You know what? His hand is with me. And he's going to keep me from evil. I want you to know, devil, you're a defeated foe. I'm a victor. I'm a victor. I'm not a victim in 2022. I'm a victor. I'm a victor. I'm going to walk on 1 Chronicles 4.10 and see it come to pass. I'm possessing it. I'm going to live it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to live it. And the world will see. Amen. Jabez 1.0 was a failure. Jabez 2.0 was a huge success. Walk into your 2.0 of your life. Amen. God bless you. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. We will continue having online service even next week. Uh, we'll have the online service. Uh, so please get in touch. Go to the WhatsApp. See the messages. And then you would know what's happening in church. Keep praying for the, for the new place. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep praying for one another. Please pray for people who are not well. They're all recovering. We want to thank God. Omni, 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 Omnicron can't stay. Omnicron has to vanish in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we say the benediction, please? Amen. Raise your hand wherever you would be. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be so gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Walk on 1 Chronicles 4.10. Walk on the word. Walk on the promise and you will possess it. God bless you. Have a super week. Come and testify to what the good Lord has done. Amen and amen.